Hey guys. Hi, we haven't done an update for a little while. When was the last one? Was that? We didn't do one at Lakes Entrance, I know that. So it was before Lakes Entrance. Oh, no, so we did, we did on the boat. Oh yeah, we did too. We did from the boat. So since Lakes Entrance have come down to, we went to um, Golden Beach. Uh, which is near Sea Spray, so just near Sale, and we camped at a free camp there. Actually, our first free camp. It was amazing. Yeah, it was great. So it was direct beach access. That, that camp was pretty amazing. We uh, we stumbled across that from another YouTube um, uh, traveller that had found a little spot, and we went. You know what? It is the middle of Christmas time, or the sorry, the Christmas holidays, school season, all that sort of stuff. What are the chances? And we said, look, let's stop in halfway there. Um, we had a we had a B plan, and we thought that the B plan would have to be executed. But we got to Camp One. There was a little bit of a an argy bargy with some young crew that were trying to snake us, um, but uh, the old crew were. Uh, saw it through and we got the we got the chocolates um, so it was a beach camp that was just over the sand dunes our own private access um, the cancel supply uh, a really uh, well done fire pit slash barbecue area Drop. it was absolutely cracking Drop toilet um, so all we needed to have really was our water and our firewood which was pretty good if you're a family, there wasn't much to do other than just the beach. Yeah, the uh, beach was pretty wild, really. You couldn't swim in the beach, and it wasn't really a very good walking beach either, but uh, we made the most of it. A bit more of a fisherman's paradise. There were families swimming down out sea spray, um, but I'd suggest if you had a young family, stick to the patrolled beaches uh, where the clubbies are, because that place could turn nasty and there was some pretty heavy duty undercurrent and rips running so yeah if you've got a young family i'd stick to well, as you should always with a young family anyway uh stick to the patrolled areas yeah and then we've come down here to phillip island and we've been at phillip island for a week um camped at a hip camp just down the road from berries beach we have had some uh, not very conducive weather to being able to enjoy the island so we had one day that was 36 degrees and then we've had really windy and wet days in fact this morning was raining we didn't get out of bed till about 10 30 because it was raining but it's turned out to be beautiful this afternoon caught up with, we caught, caught up with us <laughs> caught up with Penny, Penny and Beck, um, uh, Craig and the Fairthorn family uh, we uh, uh, we met Craig travelling in Western Australia and South Australia over at uh, Cactus, um, which was some 10, 10, 10 years ago, ago plus. Uh, and we've remained in contact. Once you come across a like-minded person, you tend to stay in touch. Uh, and the, that family is one, of, is one of those families. So we, uh, we ended up catching up with Craig down at the Phillip Island, Phillip Island Winery. And shout out to those guys. Yeah, that was that awesome. That joint is rocking. Definitely um, recommend that one. Yeah, it's a, it's a must do on the island. Great for families, dog friendly winery. So you can actually take Doggo down there uh, and sit in the outdoor uh, area. Not so much, obviously, the restaurant area. The wine tasting area was was wonderful. And the staff there were absolutely pearlers. Well done to you guys. You're running an amazing tourist venture. So we then caught up with those guys for a lovely dinner uh, where they showed us some hospitality um, and uh, a lovely, uh, lovely seafood dinner cooked up uh, by Beck. So well done guys. Thank you so yeah, much thanks. for your hospitality. So uh, we're Phillip on. Island, we're just about done with our stay here at Phillip Island, but what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, where, am, where am I off to tomorrow? I've got, uh, got a mate. Um, an old mate is uh, a mad fisherman and he's got his bar crusher boat coming down to, how do I say it, Coronella? Coronella. Coronella, yeah. so we've got a 5.30 a.m. date in the morning, Craig, myself and Raid. We're going off to catch Whiting and hopefully some of the other big fellas that might be swimming out uh, um, off the front of Phillip Island. Um, so, so tomorrow morning, five bells. Uh, Lee's going to drop us down so we can uh, maybe have a couple of sherbets as we're filleting all the fish that we get. I know I'm breaking all the rules saying that we're going to get, but this guy, Raid, <laughs> he, uh, he, he's the fish whisperer. He brings home the bacon every time. So I am not getting anything out of the freezer for dinner tomorrow night. I'm having whiting, whether, no, I'm having whiting, full stop, <laughs> that's it.
So he's got some marks for some whiting where he always bags out, he tells us. Well, he doesn't tell us, he's actually even supplied us yeah. whiting before today. Um, so he's a bit of a legend. So awesome yeah. to go and catch up with him. Haven't seen him in over six months. Um, and then after that, we're heading down to where, babe? Uh, we're heading to another hip camp at Buller, which is just out of Melbourne. And it's pretty unusual to be able to find a hip camp so close to the city, but we've got some work that's getting done to the van at Tullamarine. Um, by I'm Wrapped on Monday morning. So just a couple of things that we weren't able to get done before we left. So we'll call in there, get that done. So we'll stay at the hip camp tomorrow night. Lockie and Jesse are gonna come and catch up with us, which will be fantastic to see them. And then we will, from Tullamarine, start heading back down the coast to the west. Um, we've got an exciting week coming up with all of our Torquay friends who we haven't seen for six months and we can't wait to see them. We'll keep so, that one as a surprise. We'll tell you about that in our next update. Looking forward to that one. It's going to be a lot of fun and hopefully we get some good footage for you guys to enjoy as well. Uh, thanks for all your messages and encouragement to keep this going. Um, uh, obviously, we're, it's, it's raw, uncut, but it's us and we're doing it for family and friends and anyone who else wants to join in. Um, so thanks for joining us on on the on our journey as we continue our lap around Australia. Yeah, see ya. Woohoo!